Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Deathwix and welcome back to another video in the channel. In this one, we'll get started working with the post component in React.js. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. I will begin by opening up my code editor. So open up my code editor and then I will come over to posts JSX and this is where I will be working. So firstly, we need to import a couple of things. You can open up the dashboard JSX and pretty much import everything that we had here in the dashboard into the post because we'll pretty much be using the same things. Okay. And I also want you to get the post states, which is this one. So just take that and put it down here. Okay. And I also want you to get the fetch dashboard data. You could take fetch dashboard data or you could just take this post stress, this one over here. So take that. And down here, let's create a new function. I will call this one fetch post, and this should be an async function. So now I could go ahead and make a call to that API in a try catch. Or oh, I'm writing the try catch like it's Python. So I will log error over here so that I can gracefully handle errors when they happen. And then I post this, paste this rather. So this is pretty much what we had in the last video. Only what's missing is the user ID. So I want you to grab the user ID and I want you to put it down here. Okay. And after this is done, let me go ahead and spin up my server. I will cd to front end, then run yam dev. I will also split the terminal and cd to back end, then run pi manage.py run server. And then give this a couple sec to spin up the server there you go that's working so that is it now you can open this open up the local hosts 5173 and then just wait for this to do its thing while it's doing let's run some other code over here so remember how we used the use effect hook to run to run the function like this or to call the function rather and remember how we also pass in an empty dependency array over here. All good. So that's pretty much everything that you want to do for listing of posts. So now what you could do is open up the dashboard GSX and you remember where we mapped through the posts, which was here. I want you to take everything in this T body, the T body, take everything there. And in the post, I want you to look for the T body. So T body, which is this one here. Good. Now I want you to collapse and remove this one, then paste what you just copied and save. All right. This is pretty much everything that we want. So let's go ahead and log in. Okay. I think I was already logged in initially. Let me log in again. That's destiny at gmail.com. Then I'm going to sign in. There you go. So now I will open up the dashboard and I want to come over to posts. So when we come over to posts, can you see two posts now showing this and this? Pretty much what we had in the last one. So you can also count all the blog posts like this one over here showing up five. What we could do is come over here and look for where we have the five, which is here. Then you could say posts dot length. Then now you should see two over there. Good. All right, so that was pretty much it. Now, the next thing will be to work with the search feature, then the sorts feature that we have over here. So starting with the search feature, I'm going to create a function that will take whatever that we type in here and try to compare it with a title of any of the blog posts. And if it's match, it's filter that one and remove other ones. Very simple and straightforward function. So let's write this. I'll say const handle search and I will pass in an E parameter over the end so that I can access events of an element. Okay. In this case, the value of an input. That is what I want to access. Now let's go ahead and define a variable called query. And then I want to grab the, the value of whatever input we will be adding this function to. So E the target of value, what it will do is whenever I would take this function and put it in an onclick event listener and set it to an input. Whatever that gets typed into here is the value. So what we are doing is grab the value. Had it been this is called type, 
is to check the type of this input, whether it's text, whether it's number, whether it's password, and it's grab it. Okay. So for now, I want to grab only the value. And what I would pretty much want to do is convert the whole value to lower case. So just to just to be just to keep things the same level in case a user is typing something like up, lower, down, lower, up, lower, down. I'm going to take all this and convert it to lowercase. OK, I'm also going to convert the title of the blog post to lowercase so that no matter what the user types in there, they will all match up. Now, the very first thing we need to check out for is if query exists. Uh oh, that should be if then over here, I'm going to say if query is not rather if query is equal to empty string, then what do we want to do? Let's firstly show all the posts. So I show all the posts if nothing is typed in here. OK, what if something was typed in there? So in the else, what I will say is I will define a variable called filtered. Filtered. I hope that's the right spelling here. Then I'm going to filter the posts by saying posts dot filter. Then in here, I'll create an inline function and I'm put, passing P over here and what, what I can now say over here is I want you to return p dot title dot to lowercase dot includes don't worry I'll explain all this includes query so just by looking at this it's a quite it's a quite simple and straight to the point function what we did over here is define a variable called filter and we pretty much map through the post and get um, all the post title where the post title includes any of the title over here. So if for any reason I come over here and I tap Django, you can see that this first one here matches up with this Django because there is Django in the title. So what it will do is it will filter the whole post by the one that has the Django keyword in them and remove other ones. So just doing this isn't enough. Remember that all the posts are stored in a state here, which means we need to tweak the state to actually change up the information stored in the state, hence the, hence to see the new changes show up here. So that's quite simple. Just say set post, then pass in the new filtered data. It's as simple as that, guys. Now, what I want you to do is take the handle search, which is this one, and look for the, it's actually a form over here, but there is no need for the form. You can leave that out. In the input, I just want you to put an on change, put on on change, and and I'm gonna pass in the handle search. There you go, and pretty much pass in e. So over here, this is an inline function, and you should only use inline function if you're gonna be passing in parameters into a function like this. Okay, so if you're gonna be passing in parameters into a function like this, and you just do it like this. Most of the time, there is no way that we will get the element of the input or the event of the input. So it should be like this. And most importantly, this event should be passed in here uh or -oh, not that in here so that we can access it over here. All right. And when you've done that, that is pretty much what you want to do. So let's get back here and search for something. I'll search for I'll search for Django. Now, do you see it shows up Django? Very good. I'll search for React. All right, we've got React on the boat, so it's showing React. I'll search introduction to React. There you go. It filters it to introduction to React. Quite simple and straight to the point. Now, the next thing that I also want to show you guys is how to sort. So these are two important things when it comes to working with filtering posts and information like that. Uh, there is one thing I want to do. I'm, I want to comment out the footer so that we have our page looking this way, OK? So for the sorts, it's a little bit complex, just a little bit, but hopefully you can understand when I explain. Start off by defining a function called handle sorts change. And this should take in an events parameter so that we can still access the value of this select tag. So the value of an input is whatever that gets typed into the input. The value of a select tag is anything that you choose over here, newest or oldest. OK, so I'm going to create a new variable called sort value. And this is going to be the value that the user actually wants to sort. And as usual, I'll say e.target.value. 
You can see that we are taking the same approach as this one over here, just exactly the same thing, but with different variables. So the next thing on my list is to go ahead and create a new variable called sorted posts. And for, for a start, posts will not be sorted, right? Once a user land on this page like this, yep, obviously posts will not be sorted. So we want to firstly show all the posts. And how do we do that? Let's use spread operator and pass in posts. So dot 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 pretty much means, hey, React, I want you to go ahead and grab all those posts and set it to the this array post. And even we assigned it to a variable. So if you go ahead, okay, if you log this, you wouldn't see anything because we haven't added the sort change. But if you go ahead and log this sorted posts, you should be able to see these two posts show up in your console. All right. So now that we have done this, I would even go ahead and log it just so you see. So I'll log sorted value. Oh, what did I call? Okay, sorted post. I'm looking at the first one. Sorted post. There you go. Now I want to check for something. If sort value is equal equal to newest, which is this one that we have over here, or uh, which is this one. So if the user has selected newest, what do I want to do? I'm gonna click newest. Then what do I want to do? So the very first thing that we need to do now is go ahead and call the sort method on the sorted post array, which will sort the array in place. So how do we do that? It's quite simple. Just say sorted posts dot. Then we'll call the sort method on the sorted post array, which is this one over here. And now what do we want to do? So the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and create a comparison function that is used by the sort method to determine the order of an element, whether it's newer or whether it's older. And what we pretty much want to do is go ahead and convert date properties of some parameters that will be creating B and A into date objects. Then we'll subtract the A from the B or the B from the A. So if the B the date is recent than the A.date, that means we have to return a positive, which means B comes before A and vice versa. So if these two things actually work as expected, then we have to filter posts based on either positive or negative. So if it's positive, then we filter all the newest posts. If it's negative, we filter all the oldest posts. So enough talking, let's actually write the code so you can see how it works. So sorted posts dot sort, and in here I will define two parameters, A and B, okay? And then it's an inline function, hopefully you know that. Then I want to create a new date object and I'm going to say B dot date. All right. This date over here is pretty much coming from the dates that we have in the posts, just so you know. Okay. So after you've done this, then you need to go ahead and minus this from, let me get in here, minus from dates, uh -oh, not that date, then A dot date. So this one over here is going to get you the newest post by minusing the oldest date from the newest date and vice versa. So how do we do the other one? I'm going to say else, uh oh, that should be else if, then what do we want to say? If sort value is equal, equal, equal to oldest, then what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and pretty much perform the same operation that we did over here. Just bring it down. But we still go with a b, but this time around we'll say a dot dates minus b dot dates. It's as simple as that. Now that you have done this, that is pretty much what you want to do. Now you could go ahead and add in more if you want. It's totally up to you. This is pretty much the way that you could use to filter all this. But I think this two is totally okay for me and what I want. So now that we have done this, you could go ahead and console log the sorted post again down here. And remember how we set post in the last one. Now we go ahead and set post to sorted post. Good. So you might be asking, how are we sorting this post now? It's actually simple and straightforward. You can see over here, this sorted post stores all the posts that this author has. Then over here, what we did is pretty much sort posts based on oldest to newest dates and also newest to oldest dates. Simple. So now let's take the handle sorts challenge. 
And in case you don't understand, it's totally okay. It might actually be simple for me, but not simple for you. So please don't get overwhelmed with all this. Definitely with time, you should start picking things up. If this is actually your very first time with React Native or you're just getting into it, then I, I don't really expect you to understand all the nitty gritty of it yet. So just don't go hard on yourself for now. Don't worry, with time you'll understand. If I say it's simple, it might be simple for me, but I understand that it might not be simple for you, okay? So if you don't understand, it's totally okay. Don't go hard on yourself. Just, you can now actually as well, go back and forth through the explanation that I've given and understand this, okay? And actually listen to it again to better understand this. And if you, in fact, if you still don't understand, you could go ahead, copy this code like this, paste it in the comment section and tell me to better explain it for you. Maybe if it's explained in a written format that you can read over and over again, yep, you'll begin to understand what's going on. So I hope you understand that. Now I will take the handle source change and put it in the select, in the select tag. So let's look for the select tag, this one here. And what we simply want to do is say, on change, then just pass in the handle sort change like that. Okay, so what we now need to do is change up the options over here. So value, I need newest and oldest, just like we have over here. So just type in newest and oldest down here. Good. So with this now, let's see. If I choose newest, that's what we have. If I choose oldest, there you go. Can you see? This is working as expected. It filters it exactly the way we want. You can still search perfectly well. So guys, that is pretty much it. Searching and sorting, working perfectly well as expected. In the next video, we'll get started working with something new. Probably comment, notification. Then we'll start working on adding off post and editing of posts. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If there is something you don't understand, just like I've said, please, you can drop it in the comment section below and I'll be very happy to help you. You can also shoot a mail to deskfix at gmail.com and I'll also be happy to help you and reply to your messages. Also, there are a lot of courses in the description below that will actually help you become a better React Django developer or even just React developer if you're not interested in the Django aspect of things, okay? So yeah, that's gonna be it. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, mad love, peace out.